All right, once again, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Double Honor, City Apostles, and the Great Millstone that surely do rule well. All right, and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of this world that continue to spread this word in sincerity and in truth. All right, we are Brother Matanaya here, myself, Brother Kalab. All right, and we just come out here basically to the inspiration of the Most High, you know. Uh, the Sabbath is about to end, you know, so we just decided to do a little video here. And it's based on, you know, going out there on the highways and byways, you know, as a two third, not in the truth yet, but as a two third, you know, you come, you hear the word, you understand? You might, you might get a little understanding of the word, you might, you might find, or you might come to the realization that, yeah, well, this is the truth. But something, or somehow, you're just not coming out, you understand, to preach the most I would. Alright, you're not deciding to take that extra step. Alright? And that would be a big downfall, alright, in, 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 your, in, your, in your gaining, in your trying to get salvation. Alright? Because one of the things the most high he commanded us to do after hearing this word is to go out there and preach it. Alright? If you're not preaching, um, they will you can just be a part, a member. Alright, helping out, doing your part, serving in your in your office. Alright, if it's to hold up sign, if it's to bring scriptures, if it's to hold posts. But you had to be out there. The scripture also says to see not the assembling of yourselves together. Alright, so you had to assemble. You have something there? Yeah. Says Ecclesiastical chapter five verse seven. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and, and, and perish in the day of vengeance. God, this says, make not tarry. You understand? Don't stick. As you hear this, as you receive it, you understand? You, 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 you look to run. Flee from, flee from that life of sin that he was living in. Because why? Time's coming, all right, where sinners going to be destroyed. All those that did not stand up out in the streets and declare that name Yahweh Basham Yahushai gonna get trodden down in their home of in their homes. Alright? We said the place of their safety. Come in, in their security. In their security. In your homes. You're gonna get destroyed. Alright? Mm -hmm. Devoured. That more after that? Yeah. Alright. Bring um I wanna bring Ezekiel chapter three and verse one. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So yeah, this is the roll that we're eating right about now. This is, this, this is the roll that we found. The understanding of this word is what we found. Alright, and the most I command, just as he commanded Ezekiel, he commanded us to eat this roll. Alright, verse 2. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. Alright, and he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat. Fill thy bowels with this roll. Full your belly. You know, eat that is sufficient for you. You understand? That I give thee, then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Why is it in your mouth as honey for sweetness? Because the answers, the, the answers to certain questions that you could not get in church, you get it. When you, when you, when you go out on the highways and byways and meet the true prophets, you understand? So it, it becomes sweet as honey in your mouth. You understand? We're gonna preserve here quick. And and the reason and the and, and the reason why it becomes as sweet as honey too because is the, the promises in, in, in the scriptures for Can. for when for when um for when they go out and preach the gospel. Can. Can. The the promises that the most high made unto us. Can. How we will we will be kings and priests. And in here and in here these are the um these other nations that slaves and such. That's right. Like there is sweetness in it. Can, can. But the but the bitterness now will be the affliction and the and the um tribulation and such that we had to go through for the for the Lord for the um for the for the gospel sake. Which is the gospel. That's right. It's, it's as simple as this. Alright? Pretty wood. Alright, be be humble. You know, serve your husband shame your shy. And great shall be a reward. But to choose to do anything different, all right, you, you, your end, your end would, be, would not be nice. It yeah. wouldn't be nice for you. All right. But what the scripture said, these people are stiff naked 
You understand? And death shall be chosen rather than life. So, all, although you all hear this word and it might be sounding sweet to you all, you all still not going to choose to, 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 to obey the Moses' commandments. You understand? There's the book of Proverbs, chapter 25 and verse 16. It says, Has thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Alright, so yeah, this word is, was, is as honey. Alright, scripture says, eat as is sufficient for thee. Alright, eat how much, because some people, I like to say this, make, alright, they try to go into to, to, to countless amount of breakdown, so they see how much breakdown this could, they could learn. Alright, and that is basically too much for them. You gotta really take your time and grow in this thing. You understand, really? As, as Paul say what? The most I will give it that increase. You understand? It's the most I who gives the increase. You just have to be humble. You know? Be obedient to the ones that over you in the truth. You understand? Anything there? Okay, and, and the reason why I'm under some of some them, some of um, some of, some of these people just, just go for all these breakdowns. I want to learn all these things for, for the self praise. For a man to say, hey, he know that. Yeah. I know this. Yeah. I know this breakdown. I could come and play teacher and, and, and really and truly understand a thing like this. You might, you might know a few precepts, but you might not be able to break it down. You might know the precepts for the breakdown, but you might not understand it fully. Put it, put the puzzle together. Yeah. And really and truly, you're looking for your, 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 your um, glory for yourself, not glory for the most high. Because yeah. the most high to be um, glorified first and then us. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, as you brother say, the most I had to be glorified first and then us. Alright? When you go out in the streets and you're preaching, you're not doing this to be seen by men. You don't go out there to be seen by men. Alright? We doing this because it was commanded of us, you know, to go out there and fight the good fight of faith. You understand? Mm -hmm. To go out there and preach this word. Mm -hmm. This is first Corinthians chapter one. Verse 18. Let me know. It says, um, for the for for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of the most high. Come, come. So the preaching, the preaching of Yahweh Shai, alright, dying and resurrecting, alright, is foolishness to two thirds. Alright, to some to some when we go there and preach, it's foolishness we talking. Only talking shit. Only making no sense out here. You understand? All these, all these liars, wherever, it's foolishness to them. Alright? But it's not foolishness to us because, right, the Most High gave us that spirit to understand that here we're going on. This is the truth. And if you gain that spirit, if you gain that spirit, and you in that same spirit, and you know that this is the truth, alright? Make no tarry. Make no tarry to come out there and do this work. And that's what we basically on right about now. Men hearing this word, Men receiving this word and, and tarrying to come out and do the work as though time is in their hands. Okay. We're seeing prophecies unfolding daily. Alright? You don't want to get a repentance to close on you and you ain't go all day and at least hold up a sign. Continue. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, by the foolishness. Of preaching to save them that believe. Can, can. By the foolishness, the so called foolishness of what we just be doing in the streets, putting on the priestly garments, you understand, and saying, Thus saith the Lord. You understand, it pleased the most high to see that. Alright? And we, we just being unprofitable servants, doing what the most high commanded us. That is all we're doing. You understand, he, he, laid down the, he laid down the word, the command, and we just going out there and fulfill it. All right, because we we believe, all right, through this through this book, this rule, that there is a reward stored up for us in the kingdom. All right, and preaching the word in God save your own. Don't don't get don't don't misinterpret what we are trying to say. All right, but preach go there and preaching the word of being a part of the works. All right, is a is a great step into that salvation and obtaining that salvation and, and again that crown of life. You can't just want to want to sit at home, laid back, and talk about yeah, I know Yahweh Shai coming. Mm. Yeah, I know I I know I'm not supposed to mark. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to eat pork, but, but you're not going out there and 
preaching and, and teaching the people. Alright? Finish James chapter. Um, to verse 14 it says. Yeah, it says, What does it profit my brethren do a man say he say he had faith and and have not works? Can, can. can faith save him? Can, can. What would it profit? If you if you're saying, Yeah, I believe in Yahweh Shai. You understand? I believe Yahweh Shai is the son and Yahweh is the father. But where is he works? You understand? Where is that extra step? Where where is your action to back up what you say? You say no home being a radio. Only talk, no action. You understand? You gotta come out there and show that you have faith. Show your faith through your works. Alright? Thank you. Verse 19 it says, I'll start at 18. It says, Yeah, a man may say thou hast faith and I have works. Come. Show me thy faith with all thy works. Come, come, see. And I will show thee my faith by my works. See. Thou believest that there is one power, the see? most high. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Come, Was come. not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Come. Seest thou how, how faith wrought his, with his works are uh, by works? And by works was faith made perfect. Can. All right. So, can can thou show thy faith without works? No, you cannot. All right. Our forefather Abraham, he showed his faith by works. Noah showed his faith by works. You understand? All these men, these all these mighty men, you know, of the scriptures, they showed their faith by work, not by rocking back. You know it is to be building an ark. Alright? In a place where rain has never fallen before. God. God, I'm you understand? You know it is to, 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 to walk on water. You understand? He, he, Peter believed. Peter said yes. He knew it is Yahweh shining the water. You understand? He knew it was Yahweh shining the water. That is why he took that extra, he took that step. He took that step out, showing that he had faith that Yahweh Shai wouldn't make him drunk. But some of us they do like Peter and start to lose that faith. You understand? We start to doubt. There's no adulting thing. When, when they start to make that step, you gotta, you gotta finish that course. You understand? And 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 and, and rest your assurance upon Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. You understand? I believe I didn't finish the um the Ezekiel tree. Alright, so let me just finish it up. Anything out there you can bring it out up. It says um verse 4, Ezekiel 3 and 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. Yeah, that's who that's who we out there preaching to. Alright, we preaching to our people. Alright. We going out there and showing the the blacks, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, that guess what? You are the most high chosen people. That royal priesthood. You understand? That chosen generation. That you should show for the praises of him that called you out of the darkness into that marvelous light. You understand? Where's that marvelous light coming into the knowledge and understanding of this truth? You understand? So it all comes down to going out there and preaching this word, preaching it unto the house of Israel. Just as Yahweh Shai, he said he was not sent, but unto the lost sheep at the house of Israel. And that is who we going out there preaching to, right? I'm going to finish verse 5. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech and of hard, of an hard language. Yeah, the last one Kodash. The Hebrew is not a hard language. All right? But to the house of Israel. Yeah, the Israelites be going out there too. The most high sheep. He said it was his sheep. He said it was his people. Alright? Malachi. Malachi 1, 1 and 2. You understand? He said he loved, he loved, he loved Jacob. And he hated Esau. You understand? So we, we, the Israel is who the most high love. Hold up. Hold up. 
verse 8. Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 11, it says, Say unto them, As I live, saith the how of how, I have no pleasure in the wicked, in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will he die, O house of Israel? Mm. Yes, so the most I tell him to tell them that he has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that they should repent and come out and show the Lord your, your faith by doing what he tell that by doing what he tell it to do. Mm. By coming out on the highways and byways and preaching. Mm. Preaching the gospel. Not being ashamed of the gospel. Mm. Because what sense it making saying, I believe, I believe you, you people talk in the truth. And then you, you see when, when, when chariots come, you see those people, those same people you believe going up and you still down there. That ain't making no sense. Mm. Like who we laboring for. All right, don't feel, like, don't feel, don't feel, all right, that, 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 those chariots is a thanksgiving, a thanksgiving ship or a boat riding. You had a labor to enter into those chariots. You had a, you had to have that wedding garment. When you, then you, how shall your master have to turn? You know, go on, you know, go on, just go on the chariot and see what you're going on. I did believe in you. You understand? I used to tell my mother and them about you. You know what I mean? It's not that. You have to go away and preach. You have to make yourself. Um, we, 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 the scripture say, um, you have made a gazing stock out in the streets. You understand? A spectacle unto the world. Do videos. You understand? Do videos, go out in the streets and preach. Keep the faith. Believe that Yahweh, how Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai is the true and living powers. You understand? And you could obtain salvation if you keep remain humble. And, and not just that too, you had a, you had a lofty brother, the virgin. Can't, can't, can't. You had a, after the virgin. most, I had to put it the virgin after. Can't, can't. And how you show that you love the virgin is by keeping the commandment. You understand? By keeping the commandment, you're showing that you love your virgin. Because why? If you, if, you, if, you, if you love your brethren, all right, you ain't gonna try to sleep with your wife. You ain't gonna try to steal from him. When he need, you understand? You will, you will help him, you will assist him. You know, you will rehearse righteous acts with your brethren. Encourage your brethren to do right. You understand? I have something to bring out here. This um the book of Luke chapter 17 and verse 11. Alright, going into the parable with the ten lepers that were healed, and only one came back to give thanks. Alright. It says, and it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee, and as he entered into a certain village. There met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Yahweh Shai, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shew yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back with a loud voice, glorified the Most High. You understand and fell on it and fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks and he was a samaritan and i wish i answering said were there not ten cleansed but where are the nine all right so ten lep it had ten lepers all right they were healed by Yahushai. he came onto Yahushai. they were healed one came back and gave thanks i went into that parable just to see this there are some that come out there on the highways and byways. You hear the prophets of the Lord preaching, all right? And they they would they would they would take what they want from the prophets. They would benefit, take take their benefit. You understand? Take that that little bit of knowledge that they gain from us, that knowledge that they gain from us to go back home wherever they live in to talk. You understand? Just to play this brick preacher and they know this brick down and this and that, all right? And then only few, you understand, will come back and really come to say thanks. 
and by and coming to sit tanks is to come to really fulfill the most high commandments and statutes right and it's one of his commands is to go out and preach you understand so coming back and giving tanks saying tanks would be preaching coming back to preach you understand after you heard the word after you received that benefit of hearing that word coming back to preach all right and that parable shows that there is only few that will come you don't want to be one of the nine you understand you don't want to be one of the nine that didn't come back to say thanks you understand because why at the end of the day when those chariots come as the brother was mentioning you're going to be left behind you're going to be as stubble you understand you're going to be left as stubble for the fire that is to come to pour from those chariots All right. Yeah, anything? Yeah. It says Ezekiel chapter thirty-three verse thirty-one. It says, "And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they and they sit before thee as my people, and they would, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them, mm. for with their mouth they show much love, but mm. their heart could after after the covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one." Of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for the for the hear thy word but they do them not God. and when this cometh to pass lo it, it will come then shall they know that a prophet had been among them God. then shall they know that a prophet had been among them all right when those chariots come they would know that you were going on these men that were out there toiling in the streets they were the prophets all right and we fools did not take heed and we did not take pattern of these guys and join all right and join no you're not joining for our sakes all right don't don't, don't think that is 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 me here trying to or me and the brother here trying to get you to just join some kind of group no this is for your salvation this is not for us at the end of the day all right this is for your salvation this is uh, yeah. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 it says wherefore my brethren as ye have always obeyed uh. not as in my presence only but no much more in my absence uh. work out your own salvation with fear and trembling uh, uh. work out your own salvation in fear and trembling all right and and to show that fear and reverence to the most high what you gonna do you're going and do what he command you you understand you're going and obey him to show him that you're going on a, a have a fear you understand a fear and i'm willing to obey you i'm willing to go that extra step for you it's for yourself it's not for the brethren your only salvation you're working out when you go there and preach you ain't going out there for the limelight. You ain't going out there to, to be seen by men. You understand? You ain't going out there for a man to watch and say, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, I real knowledge, but it's not for that you're going out there. You're just going out there to do your part. You understand? To 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 to, to work for your 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 two cents. Yeah. You understand for your reward. Yeah. Is there anything else? Well, good that. All right. Well, yeah. So the moral, the whole, the whole main topic is basically what you should do, what should be done after hearing the truth, preaching. Oh yeah, and I remember I had a precept to bring, bring out, preach the word. Yeah, so when after you hear the word of this car, you just can't go or you say, yeah, them men have them men have real knowledge. Or them them men is them men is, is speaking the truth. And then after you go on your way. We yeah. just do the was acknowledge that these are the true men, but you actually are foolish because you know there's a true man, there's a true way, it's a life. But but you go on the other side, you go on the next path. You leave the right, you see the right, you see the right path, but you go on the left path. Yeah. That don't make no sense. You just condemn your own self there. Yeah. 
and uh, there's a two uh, two great um precepts here all right this is um second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 5 right for we preach not ourselves but yahweh shai mashiach the lord and ourselves your servants for yahweh shai seek for yahweh who commanded the light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to give the light to knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right? So the Mosai had what? He said it was commanded the light that is in us after receiving the knowledge of the truth to shine out of darkness. This 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 world that we're living in. This world is darkness. You understand? And uh, and had shined in our hearts to give light. Of the knowledge of glory of Yahweh by Shami Shai. So that is what we're basically doing. Alright. Next precept here is um Second Corinthians 5 and 9. Alright. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. So that is why we labor in each man we are laboring. Alright. So that we will be accepted. You understand? So that we may gain acceptance of Yahweh Shai. You understand? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach, but everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. You understand? You gotta receive according to what he had done. Same dumb woman saying, Yeah. Them fellas was already talking the truth on but I can't go there. And I don't want too much deals to go away. You understand? I don't want too popular to go away. I can't, I can't make myself become so low. You understand? You understand? I can't go down just like a bum. You know, I can't go down with, with um, um, wear a, wear a, wear a long dress. And that is the thing that, that, that is stumbling blocks. You know, and you're you setting up in your own path. And that stumble, that stumble, you take my year a very hard fall. Yeah, the scripture say I'm pride going before the destruction. Come, come. That we are this pride. Come. Saying you can't go there because you are, come. you know, too much for the world people to see you with this group. Come. You know, people see you just enough like that. That is pride in your heart. Come. The scripture say I'm, whosoever who shall be, whosoever shall humble himself shall be exalted, and whosoever come. exalted himself shall be humble. Back up here. Proverbs 29, 23. A man's pride shall bring him low. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Can you? you understand? So your pride, right now, right now you're high. You might be high. You understand? Because you're what? You're fit even to society and the world love you. Because you're of the world. Can you? you understand? But all that pride you have now, it have a day when you're gonna be made low. You understand? And the and the true servants, the humble men, the men that humble in spirit. We're going to be what? Honored. We're going to be honored as kings. Alright? Anything else? Alright? Well, once again, I want to give all praises to your Howard, yeah, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to your apostles and letters of Great Millstone, our teachers that surely do rule well. Alright? And salutation to all the Akim around the four corners of this world that continue. To spread this word in sincerity and in truth, brother Kala, brother Matanaya here. All right, keep feeding your faith and starving your doubts to death. Peace, shalom. Shalom. Shalom.